Everyone's favorite game, Overwatch, just killed its premier esports league, the Overwatch League, or OWL for short, OWL. And nobody is really surprised, because if you don't know, Overwatch has been dying since day one. I'm not even joking when I say that. This this thing right here, this Dallas Fuel versus Soul Dynasty, stage one, week one, day one, goddamn, uh, this thing, um, this event is the very first match they ever put on for the Overwatch League. This is this is day one, all right? This is the highest peak it ever had in viewership, ever in its entirety. In the entirety of the Overwatch League, they could never eclipse their very first day, which was this match. Now, why does this matter? Well, Overwatch is a little bit different, all right? Because as this past year we've seen, esports have been through the ringer. You know, lots of layoffs and firings, less funding, Nintendo being a terrorist organization as they usually are. But Overwatch is just slightly different because Overwatch doesn't do things like other esports do or other games do. Now, Overwatch is in something called a franchise league, and they really tried to make it like the NFL, NBA, more traditional sports you'd see in, you know, America. All the teams in the Overwatch League were city-based teams, which means they were like, you know, they weren't optic whatever. They weren't phase. They were the Dallas Fuel, the Los Angeles Gladiators, um, that kind of stuff, where there would be home and away matches and leading to a playoff. They were really banking on this, taking off and being just like the new NFL, the new NBA, everything. They wanted it to be just like that. They were even charged the teams a franchise fee of $20 million. Now, I see a lot of confusion with franchises in esports discussions. A lot of people don't understand what they are or like how they work. Franchises are like a private Xbox Live party. All right, it's invite only and you can't get in without an invite. So how do you get an invite? Well, you have to pay money. How much money you ask? Well, you pay something called a franchise fee, which in this case was $20 million. In the Call of Duty League, which is Activision's other, you know, region-based esports league, it was like $25 million. And in some cases, I think they reported it was like $35 million to maybe $60 million. Um, to join the Overwatch League at some points, which is absolutely fucking bananas. But let's get down to brass tacks here. Why does this matter, and why did the Overwatch League die? Well, most importantly, it kind of throws a wrench into esports in general. Like, having such a money-driven league, a very expensive league, fail is not a good sign. But there were reasons. There were reasons why it failed. Number one is very simple. Their format was dumb as shit. Now, a past self may not have agreed with this, but my mind right now, I agree with it totally. I think the whole region-based thing and the whole, you know, regular season into playoffs, traditional sports-esque thing, just doesn't work in esports. I'm convinced. I'm convinced it does not work in esports at all. At, two years ago, three years ago, I think I would have defended that it could work, but not anymore. I don't believe it. Not because of this, but just because of what I've seen from esports overall. <laughs> and like what I described in my last video uh, about the Nintendo stuff and about esports in general. Uh, this shit sucks to watch. Overwatch League, not even Overwatch League, just Overwatch in general, might be the single worst <laughs> esport to watch. It is so not spectator friendly. Not even in the slightest. I wish I could find... There was like an interview. I couldn't find it. There was like an interview with like the uh, casters of it. And they talked about how they couldn't cast it. And they like were just trying to like say words. But all you could see on the screen was just like flashing colors and lights. Like, I mean, dude, like this shit is ass. Like you couldn't pay me enough money to like sit and watch this. This is what they do to people in Guantanamo Bay. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Look at this nonsense. Hi, YouTube. Did you know that if we reach 1,000 subscribers, one lucky subscriber will win $50? You don't even have to like my videos, and you could still win money. But if you do like my videos and you want to tickle my balls, then you should go check out my Twitch right now and drop a follow. Thank you. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's shit to watch. And like the region-based stuff, 
I think the idea of it is there. Making something a region-based idea or a city-based kind of like automatically gives you a home, like home fan base in a way. Like, let's say you play Overwatch and you really like Overwatch and you live in Minnesota or Minneapolis. And guess what? Now you have a Minnesota wild team. I don't know, something like that. I think when it comes to esports, it doesn't work as well because it's not a spectator sport as we can see of how bad it is to spectate and watch. Another issue is that esports are generally tied to their game's popularity. So if you look at a game like Halo, Halo's best performing event was like two weeks after game launch. It was literally their kickoff major. Ever since then, they've been able to basically get half that viewership. And if you look at the game's viewership since then, if you look on Twitch, it's literally, I mean, it literally dropped off after like a couple months, but since then, it's basically been consistent around 2,000-ish viewers. However, this isn't entirely true because if you're able to develop an eSport that transcends the game itself and kind of becomes the main pull of the game, like Rocket League, guess what Rocket League's highest peak viewership is? It's this year's World Championship. This game has been out since 2015. And yet they are still pumping out bangers. This is their best thing. And guess what? Their viewership, their viewership since, I mean, this is like till 2020, but like their viewership has basically been, it's pretty stagnant. It's like, what, six to 8,000 viewership, maybe a year more, give or, give or take, give or take a few thousand. I don't know. Now, if you take a look at a game like Overwatch, it actually still averages some pretty good viewership. It's 20,000, 30,000, 25,000, and there's a good amount, of ch good amount of channels streaming it. You know, like 1,500 channels are streaming it usually. It, people are still playing this game. People are still watching this game on Twitch. The only problem is the eSport fucking sucks. Nobody wants to watch the eSport. So what does this mean for Overwatch? Well, Overwatch eSports isn't going away. They're probably going to switch over to more traditional esport things like tournaments like major tournaments here or there and get away from the whole region based league thing that was just kind of like a dumpster fire to begin with now the next thing if these esport leagues can make it easier to understand man it's always like stage one week one day one fucking summer split major like what who bro like just make it like tennis or golf just be like oh here comes this major. God, bro. This fucking nightmare we live in.